hey, I'm Lino Rulli, and the crew at Currents has decided to do something quite bold, quite shocking. They're giving me the show. I'm hosting the show today. That's right, the whole show, the whole 30 minutes in my very uh, trustworthy hands. So I just arrived. I'm quite excited. This nice lady let me in. Let's figure out how I do this. Hello. Hello, excuse me. Hi, thank you. Um, I just have a, I'm kind of new to this area. Where's Deacon Greg, please? Yes, I'm looking for uh, Cedric or Chris. Yes, is there a studio? Where's the studio? I'm going to the studio. You don't speak a word of English, do you? It's probably my future bride here. All right, well, I'll figure it out on my own. Continue mopping, thank you. Hello? It's a holiday, I know. It looks like nobody's here. Deacon Greg? Cedric? You gotta be kidding me. Nice. Nice and dark in here. You know, there's gotta be a, a place to hit the lights or something around. I could use an engineer is what I could use, but of course, I got nobody. It's me and the guy behind the camera there, Heavy J. How you doing, Heavy J? He's super chatty. That's real helpful. Thanks, man. Uh, any idea where the lights are around here? Check the switch behind you. Oh. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Good job. Stay puffed. So some of you may know me from my radio show, The Catholic Guy, on Sirius XM Satellite Radio. But uh, before I got into radio, I was working in TV. And that's probably no surprise. I'm a real natural for this stuff, right? I mean, couldn't you see me hosting Currents? Yeah, nobody could see me hosting this show, but I did used to host my own TV show, Generation Cross, and uh, it lasted for six years. And once it was done, I wasn't sure what to do with my life, and so I went and asked a little bit of advice from my friend Bill Arnold, who's an amateur psychologist. You know, I'm really glad you've decided to come in and have a discussion and talk through some of your issues and get some of this stuff off your chest, and maybe that will help. So uh, where would you like to begin? Well, for starters, shouldn't I be the one on the couch? Nope, I think you're right. So what's your problem? Actually, let's not jump right into it, okay? Could we just sort of ease into the topics? Okay, so how you doing? All right, good, how you doing? Good, what's your problem? Well, the, the main problem is I'm just trying to figure out how does a person learn what God wants them to do with their life? What am I, the answer man? Why don't you ask God? Well, I do ask God. What does he say? Well, how do I know for sure God is listening? You know, when I'm talking to you, Obviously, you're paying attention. That's interesting. Go on. Oh, don't get me wrong. I realize it's a basic fact of the faith that God hears our prayers, but it feels like sometimes I talk and talk and no one's listening. Just a brick house. Just knock, knock me. Well, whatever I do, I realize it's going to take guts. You got plenty of guts. And of course, it's going to take a lot of talent. And you got plenty of guts. You know, I'm thinking maybe I could work for like a big industry. I was thinking it'd be interesting to work for maybe the paper industry. Yeah, or perhaps you could work in the plastic industry. Well, maybe both. So would you like paper or plastic? All right, so my buddy Bill did what he could, but I, I still wasn't sure what to do with my life. And uh, eventually I ended up taking the job at Sirius XM Satellite Radio. And then about a year ago, Deacon Greg, he's the news director of Currents, he gave me a call and he said, Lino, we've got this amazing new show. It's going to be a great show that we don't want you to host. All right, fair enough. He offered me a weekly segment, and I was thinking, all right, I can do something like that, maybe. But he was very persistent. Lino, we can't do this without you. We won't do this without you. Anything that feeds the ego. Okay, I'll serve the church. I said yes. Why? I remember that day as if it was just yesterday. Uh, now, your name is? <laughs> My name is Matt. This is quite an office. There's no name on the door, right, right. and it looks like a storage unit. No expense, no expense spared at all. <laughs> well, good luck in here. Have fun. Make sure to get the name tag on there very soon. I'll try. I'll try. Uh, if not a name plate, I actually mean a name tag. All right, and your name is? Cedric. All right, Cedric, what are you doing? I'm studio director. Are you nervous? Are you stressed out about the first show? Y yeah, I'm stressed out. <laughs> your name is? Chris. Chris, are you stressed out? Mm, a little bit, yes. You pulled a little hair out at the top there. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't see any stress. I don't see any stress at all. I keep it all inside. I keep it contained. Now, what are you doing here, Chris? I'm writing. I'm writing for the show. I'm writing today's headlines. 
could write some jokes for me. All I did was a hair joke. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. That's uh, I guess that's all you got, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. Chris, don't work too hard today. Hello. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hi there. I'm the news director. Are you praying during the show? Is I that what? I'm praying so hard. I've got my book of blessings here. I pray all the time, every day. And as you can see, Deacon Greg just loves to read. The man <laughs> loves to read. Now, are you stressed like the others or not? No, not today. My work is done. Everything's cut, and I'm just going to look pretty, I guess. Oh, well. I tried to do that once. Check this room out, the control room. These are important people here. I have to be polite around here. Oh. Chris. Chris is in charge of a bunch of stuff. Chris, what's your title? I'm the general manager. So I'm supposed to be nice to him. Hey. Juan? I'm the director of engineering. Now, are you nervous today? Very nervous. But I have very capable, a very capable crew. We have BIS with us. And B, B, BIS. BIS. How stressed out are you today? Because uh, believe it or not, Chris had no gray hair when the day began. That's right, buddy. But I'll tell you, uh, uh, with, with news going live for the first time, first daily Catholic news, it gets a little stressful. But right. And who are you? Uh, sorry, nice seeing you again. Thanks, Chris. All right, so there you have it. A look at what's going on behind the scenes at Currents. You know, a great team of people here. I got to be honest, just speaking personally, I'm just happy to be able to be a part of all of the action here. Because it, it, for me to be able, I'm a radio guy who's doing TV. Excuse and for me, I'm, come with me. I'm sorry. You're really gonna have to come with me. I have to come. Where are we going? No, no, no. I work here. No, no, no. They wanted me to work here. I'm doing a. Uh, no, I'm doing feature stuff. Chris. <laughs> Hey, I'm Lino Ruli. I'm hosting Currents today. Uh, not because they asked me to, but because, well, there's no one around to stop me. Oh, that's pleasant. So it's just me and me and our camera guy, Heavy J, back there. Easy on the Twinkies there, Heavy J. I know you're very busy. You're working very hard back there. But nonetheless, the last segment you saw, you know, uh, not that long ago, I was actually kicked out of the Currents offices, the studio, the entire building, and uh, I eventually made bail and the kind people at Currents decided not to press charges. And in fact, they decided to make it up for me. They said, Lino, sorry about that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to set you up on a date. I said, all right, well, now we're getting where we need to be. Except on this date, there was only one little hitch. Let me tell you a little bit about me. I'm 37 years old. I'm single. I'm always looking to meet new people. Today, I'm going to meet Angela Scanapieco. I'm pretty excited about this because uh, I hear she's a lot of fun. I hear she's a lot of laughs. I'm a little bit nervous, though, because she's a consecrated virgin. Hi, Lena. Hi, Angela. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for doing this. It's going to be a lot of fun today. I am looking I, forward to it. I think. It's going to be a great day. This is, I'm date. Looking, yeah. Wait a minute. We're going on an interview, right? Interview or, or date. One of, the, one of the two. One of the two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope you like Greek food. I made us some reservations here. We'll take a great place. All right, good. And if you didn't, what are we going to do? <laughs> Can I push the chair in for you? Yes, thank you. Thank you. So. Uh, so I got to admit, I don't hang out with a lot of consecrated virgins regularly. Tell me what a consecrated virgin is. Consecrated virgins are women who take, um, make a special promise. They're married to Jesus. Jesus is the bridegroom. And he's the bridegroom of the church, but he's the bridegroom for us too. But we live in the world. It's different from a sister because we are not in a convent. We have to struggle through everyday struggles like, like uh, everybody else does, except that we know that we have that little extra support from that, that uh, spousal relationship. So, you know how sometimes if a man becomes a priest, people think, oh, he didn't have any other options, or a woman becomes a sister, she didn't have any other options. So for you, were you dating, or was this all a result of, you know, just a bunch of bad dates? <laughs> no, actually, I had a lot of good dates in my life. So, <laughs> so that's a good thing. That's a, having good dates is important, too, because you need to see that, you know, if, if, if you know, a bad date was the motivating force of this, that's not proper discernment. Definitely not. Bad dating is not a proper discernment. <laughs> <laughs> 
So a lot of women, you know, they dream of their wedding day. They dream of, you know, having a husband and stuff. Did you dream of that and think of it was going to be a nightmare? Or is this stuff you really miss in your life? I had a wedding ceremony, a beautiful wedding ceremony, wore a wedding dress. Um, and at the actually part of the right is where we receive a wedding band. And uh, this wedding band that I have is, was actually my grandmother's. So it's, it's very, very special. And I always tell people that uh, I have the best husband in the whole world and I don't have to wash any socks. <laughs> Well, this was great. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of laughs. Thanks so much for going out with me today. This was awesome. Thanks, Lena. I enjoyed it. So, uh, hmm. any interest in a second interview? Mm, no. <laughs> no? Not even a hug? You know, is it just me, or do some of my segments skew a little negative? I seem to be the punching bag. Nobody's taking me seriously around here. And since nobody else is going to sing my praises, I'll do it. Joining me now is me. Hi, Lino. How are you? Well, you would know you're me. Excellent point. Now, it says here in my notes that you are both talented and funny. Is that true? Yes, well, your researchers have done a fine job with the questions. Uh, that is correct. I'm what they call a triple threat. I am both funny and talented. And uh, many people in the audience would like to know your nose. Is that real or is that a prop? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Ever since being on Currents, I know a lot of people want this look. A lot of kids have been getting nose enlargements, plastic surgery, this kind of thing. However, this is a, this is a gift from God. Nobody can replicate this. And how do you feel you've really been treated by the people at Currents? No comment. Well, thank you, Lino. This has been an informative and exciting interview. As you can tell, uh, interviewing is an art form. I'm not saying I've exactly mastered the art yet. However, I decided to go to an expert and uh, went and talked to Ed Wilkinson, who's the editor of The Tablet, the diocesan newspaper of Brooklyn, to find out if I could get a few pointers. Now, Ed doesn't have an enormous staff here for the newspaper, so I guess my first assignment is actually finding Ed. Let's go. All right, I guess my first assignment isn't finding Ed. My first assignment is trying to get into the building. Hey, Ed? <laughs> hey, Ed, want to let me up? Ed? Hey, Ed? Hey, Ed? Ed? Lino? Ed? Lino? Hey, Ed. Lino. Ed. Hey, Ed. Hey, Lino. Oh, Over here. Hey, Ed. Lino, how nice are you? Nice to meet you, but good to see you. How do you run a newspaper with, like, almost nobody around? <laughs> well, it's, everybody does a little bit of everything, so we all pitch in and it seems to work. I hope I'm not being put to work. <laughs> This is where it all happens, This right? is it. This is the hub of the operation. This is where the genius occurs. <laughs> like every genius, the place is a complete mess. It's, it's a wreck. It, it seems like dominoes. At any time, a book will come out and everything will fall apart. You see these books? These are all freebies. <laughs> <laughs> People want their book reviewed. They send us a copy. What I do with these books is I usually donate them to parish libraries around the diocese. So you don't so, read them? Uh, some I do. Some I do read. We just found out Ed doesn't read the books. <laughs> If you've sent a book to Ed, Ed didn't read it, he gave it away to a parish. I give him away. I say, would you like to read it? <laughs> this yes. makes more sense to me. I know where everything is in this office. It might look chaotic to some people, but I know where everything is. All right, let me see what's going on here. We got we got picture. What, what is this right this, here? This is an original by Bill Gallo, who is the sports cartoonist for the Daily News. That's Bishop DeMarzio in the middle, and this is Whitey Ford over here. Now, there's somebody I already know. Well, oh, no, well, not that, the Pope. That's the Pope. the Pope. The Pope is there. Now, have you thought about no. putting that on the wall, or do you think that's about right next to that? No, nah, there's enough things on the wall here. <laughs> that, that's a next good to the spot. dead plant that's a good seems spot. about right. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little spot here for your awards. Okay. Yeah. This one here, this award presented to Ed Wilkinson. Oh, that's from the college alumni. <laughs> for as many years of service, did they think you were wrapping it up? <laughs> well, this is about it for you, Ed. Let's. It's about time. He to said wrap he things. can't keep going much longer. <laughs> All right, we got uh, coach. That was the one, my coach. Uh, that was the only time that I coached, and the team actually won something. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is it here—a picture with you and John Paul II. 
He's holding an addition of the tablet. He's holding the tablet. How about that, huh? Four Catholic editors of the different dioceses where he was visiting, we were invited to come and say hello to the Pope early in the morning before he said Mass in Central Park. So I brought along a copy of the tablet, and I gave it to him, and his picture was on the front page. I just, I, I just noticed that right now. There's, he's like, hey, that's me. I'd yeah. like to read about me. I, I have to say that's the highlight of uh, my career. You know, nice. Like meeting the Pope. Uh, you can't do much better than that. A future saint. You got to meet me today, too. Uh, and you. You and the Pope. It's uh, a big day. I'm doing pretty good. It's a big day. <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> so, Ed, I'm thinking maybe the tablet should uh, write an article about me. Uh, well, you know, you're a nice guy, but just not interesting enough, you know. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Nice meeting you. Thanks. You know, the thing about currents is it's a little stuffy. I mean, it's not casual. Look how relaxed I am, you know? You'd never see Matt or Francesca. Francesca, hey. Well, she's not here. Uh, you'd never see them hanging out like this. That's because they're uh, professionals. Hey, Heavy J, how about you uh, stick to flipping burgers and running the camera, all right? Nothing more from the peanut gallery, please. You know, kids, I am in exquisite physical shape. I don't have to tell you that. It's, it's quite obvious, isn't it? And uh, this isn't an accident. This is uh, hard work. I'm at the gym almost <clears throat> every week. Nonetheless, I recently went with Justin Fatika. Now, Justin, he founded a ministry called Hard as Nails. He's a... Uh, He's, he, this is not his first time at the gym. In fact, he may be just a little tougher than me. All right, so most people working out do it for your own personal gain. Yeah. But what do you mean you do uh, workouts for others? You're praying for others? Yeah, man. You know, like, my wife, I travel a lot. I better be praying for her. <laughs> so how long have you been working out for, your whole life? No, I wasn't uh, into working out until about 21, 22. How old are you now? Uh, 30. I'm 37. I started working out about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> You're a character. You don't strike me as a very passionate person. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, where does all this passion come from? Be honest now, where does the passion come from? You know, with what's going on in our culture, if we're not passionate about love, passionate about, you know, young people, passionate about giving people hope, then if we have a problem with young people, if any adult out there says, oh man, the youth these days, what problems? Well, who are the business leaders that created the problems? The kids didn't create the problems. So really on my heart of hearts is, is these young people. We need to, we need to uh, be a generation of hope and love and, and uh, of faith. Are you putting these on for you, Justin? Yeah. Uh, this, is, this isn't gonna be for me. Why not, man? Well, cause I can't, you know, what are you talking about? If I get a pickup truck, maybe I can tow it, but I'm not gonna be able to pick it up. I'll try to spot you, but I'll just all be right, watching. You, all right, you spot me, man. Camera guy spotting you, too, for that matter. We're all spotting Rem you. Remember this, Lito. We need, we need a lot of people spotting us. Where did this all start? Where did this all come from? <laughs> this whole hard as nails Justin thing, where did this all come from? It's not just me. You know, that's the big thing I don't want it to become about. If it's about me, then what I'm doing is worthless. I just saw the culture, and I just saw what was going on. I was like, we need to be real here. And we need something attractive. We need something... Uh, different. We need something exciting, and uh, is it exciting? Is it different? I don't know. Well, you know, you tell me. But it's reaching out. It's working. You're strong in the faith. You're strong with these weights. Now you got to spot me spiritually and probably physically. I'm right? probably weaker than you both ways. <laughs> I wish. No offense. Yeah, you're probably strong. I mean, a lot of other ways. Remember, the weak is strong. The strong are weak, Lino. Come on, come on, go, Lil. Don't give up. You're the man. <sighs> Two. Jesus' story is, is what it's about. St. Paul's story. You go down the list in the history. and St. Justin the Martyr, his story. Is his story great because he's like, I'm the man. Oh, I'm Jack. You know what I mean? Like, right? I got veins popping out. You know, like, is that why his story is great? No. His story is great because he was a martyr. You know, his story is great because he got this. Hard as Nails has been uh, one of the bigger challenges of my life. Misrepresented, uh, misused, mistreated, uh, and you know what? It, but it's been the greatest experience in my life, uh, except for having kids and my wife and uh, and my this family. interview. Just hanging of out course, like this. Of course, Lino. If we're weak, we're like Jesus, Lino. Remember that, man. And you're weak. If we're weak, we're like all the saints. If we're weak, we're like all the people that 
we're supposed to act like? Why is everybody trying to act so tough? Why is everybody trying to act so strong? Because I'd rather look like you than me. Little help? Hey, okay, now we're getting where we need to be. Come on, Leo, you gotta admit, I'm the top 10 jerkiest Christians in the country. <laughs> Especially if you, hit, if you keep hitting me like that, you're number one. We don't even have to vote. You're like the nicest guy. I want to be like you. Here's the problem. My nose is the biggest thing in this ring, so I'm just afraid of what you're... Hey, that's this. the Italian, uh, Italian thing, you know what I mean? This, not this. <laughs> what, what, what's going on in our society? What, what are you and I and everybody else dealing with? Are we missing God's love? Are we, what are we missing in our lives that we, we need more than anything? You know, authenticity. When are we going to start being okay with each other? When are we going to start looking at our dad who left us and go, he has a story too. Maybe I should reach out and love him because he ain't God. When are we going to start realizing that our mom who was 19 and got pregnant and we're judging her all these years and we didn't get this and get that. You know what? She was 19 and kept the baby. When are we going to start realizing that there are a lot of people out there that need to be respected and honored more than they're being? And all we're doing is looking at them as, as objects or as, as, as weak just because when we look in the mirror, that's what we see. You know, when we realize and admit the real person we are, we can love others no matter what. And if I die tomorrow, so what? I had a book, Hard as Nails, you know. So what? I had a movie on my life. But hopefully when I die, people walk by my casket and go, you know what? He, he wasn't perfect, that's for sure, that guy. <laughs> but you know what? He loved me no matter what. And uh, that's my goal. You know, that's what it's all about. Hey, I'm Lino Ruli. I am uh, filling in on Currents today because nobody's around to stop me. And it's just me and our camera guy, Heavy J, back there. Heavy J, don't work too hard there, buddy. You're going to have a heart attack not doing anything, standing there watching me. So, uh, you know, with all this abuse I take at Currents, uh, people have asked me, Lino, why do you stick around? Well, it's because it's all in good fun. They tell me all the jokes at my expense are all in good fun. And so Deacon Greg and the crew actually put together a little tribute. Now, I have not seen this, but I'm, I, it really touches me, obviously. It touches my heart to know that they spent the time to, to let me know that I really am uh, welcomed here and that they do appreciate my work here. So. Let's roll the tape. You may have caught on to the fact that our beloved Lino Ruli is the kind of guy that has some trouble getting dates. Not so good at that. Unfortunately, what we're about to show you won't have you thinking any different either. You know, I can probably guess that one person that is no threat at all is our own Lino Ruli. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I have to do all these hard stories and he gets to go on a boat. You I know, know. What is this about? I was afraid for Lino's safety there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> when he was doing that. <laughs> when he was doing the, well, when he was doing a lot of that, a lot of the working out. <laughs> Lino has probably been told more than once or twice perhaps to jump off a cliff. But maybe, you know, we can add Lino Ruli to that list. Maybe not. <laughs> not only do we have confirmed now that Lino is terrible at golf, yeah. I wouldn't want to be psychoanalyzing Lino at all. Wait, wait, but stop the tape. Okay. Heavy J, did you know about this? Why, why does everybody make fun of me? What is this horrible perception people have of me? I'm a, I'm a celebrity. I'm a real celebrity. I don't, I don't need to take this. You know what? I'm out of here. They didn't want me here anyway, so I definitely don't need to take this. I've, I've got a master's in theology. I've won Emmy Awards. I met Pope John Paul II. I got, I got a radio. I don't need to take this abuse. 